Hey, welcome back to our Hungry Adventures. Guys, when someone is saying North in Thailand, what is the first place that pop up in your head, huh? Probably Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai. Well, in my head too. However, today I'm inviting you to have a tour of a beautiful Lampang province, which is located in 600 kilometers away from Bangkok and in less than two hours drive from Chiang Mai city. Today we will be riding on a motorbike around this beautiful province, exploring stunning landscapes, visiting popular landmarks and of course tasting delicious foods. I hope food is delicious here. <laughs> so if you got some time and empty space in your stomach and you are ready to waste your precious time together with me, then join me in this hungry adventure. Let's go! And since we are in the northern Thailand, we need to try the best khao soy in town. And I think this is the place. What do you have? Khao soy, me have? Okay, okay. Khao soy, kai, khao soy, nữa. Oh, hello. Chin, hello. Oh, na kien ma, khap. Pi, khap. Jan, yai, me, khap. Jan, yai, me. Jan, khao soy, khao soy, khap. Khao wa, lo long kin tu kian. Oh. Adi, khap. เอาจันนิ่นเนื้อแล้วก็เอาจันอีกจันไก่ครับใช่ครับใช่ใช่ครับนี่ครับเกาซอยไก่45เกาซอยเนื้อ45ด้วยครับอ๋อเกาซอยเนื้อ50 2ราคาเหมือนกันเนื้อกับไก่ราคาเดียวกันพิเศษ50อ่าโอเคโอเคโอเคขอบคุณครับ standard portion เกาซอย with chicken 45บาท and another standard portion of เกาซอย with beef 45บาท too อันนี้ให้เหรอจริงเหรอจริงอ๋อขอบคุณมากครับคนใจดีใจดีมาทำยูทูบช่องไหนใช่ครับใช่ครับโปรโมชั่นนะโปรโมชั่นใช่ครับคุณผู้ชายให้ผมลองทดลองเขาสัตว์ที่เขาทำกันกับเครื่องแต่งเป็นเครื่องแต่งเป็นเครื่องแต่งเป็นเครื่องแต่งAnd cucumber, and of course special sauce. It's just majestic. Mmm. The sauce itself, this is a, uh, not a regular peanut sauce. There is something, something unique, something special. Oily, creamy, and this is kanom pan. Kanom pan in Thai language is bread. Breads with some some topping. Pi kap, ani kanom kanom pan kap kai, cema kap. Kap kai, cema kap. Okay, okay. Aloy. Aloy. Pom, mai kai kin, mai kai kin kap. Kun teb mai mi. Cai kap. Ten kau dia ni lah. Pom ki mota sai. Kau pom kap. But let's try the cow soy. The beef is so tender, it literally melts in my mouth. Yeah. And khao soy with chicken is beautiful too. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is gonna be a nice day. It was a very delicious meal and very sweet people. 
they refuse to take my money. They say, no, 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 it's okay, it's free. So if you'll be traveling to the northern Thailand, come to Lampang and visit this restaurant and try real authentic Lampang Khao Soi. It was delicious. Try it, you won't regret. 7-Eleven, it means it's coffee time. Hello, I'm an American small one. One small one, one small Three baht happiness. What is it? 75 cents? Ah, 7-Eleven, the best coffee shop in Thailand. <laughs> in fact, I visit 7-Elevens and buy coffee just uh, because of the air conditioning, just to cool down myself. You enter inside, wait five minutes for your coffee, live in 7-Eleven and feel yourself much better. Because outside, in the afternoon time, from 12 to 3 p.m., it's, it's simply unbearable. The heat is crazy. Closed every Wednesday. And can you guess what is the day today, huh? Guys, we got very lucky. I was flying my drone, just finished and about to leave. And there was a car with lady and they just opened the gates uh, and enter. And I said, can I go too? Because I've come here just for one, two days and uh, I want to make a video here. I'm a YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and she said, yeah, yeah, you can go. Today is actually a day when they're cleaning, doing uh, general cleaning of entire complex, which is why it is closed for visitors. <laughs> Okay, sure. Ah, uh, okay. Where are you from? I'm from Kronteb. Huh? From Russia. They are from Kronteb. From Russia. Ah. Fantastic when you're coming here, coming closer. Namaskar. And indeed, these volunteers, they've got a lot of work because there are, this area is covered with trees and the way up takes some time and everything is covered with, the, with leaves, which is why they just need this day, Wednesday, to clean the area.
visiting this temple complex without other visitors, without tourists. It's just magical. Really can't believe it is possible. And look what do we have here. Selfie station. And it looks even more stunning with this evening light, golden hour. But it's not the end yet. We need to check one more place here. Can you see the rainbow? This is a really paranormal day, day with paranormal activity. I hope we're not gonna see any ghosts today. Sun is going down, time to leave. Wow, amazing place, guys. This is so unusual for such a beautiful temple to be open at 8 o'clock, at 8 p.m. You can walk inside, wander around. Amazing. And it really reminds me of White Temple of Chingrai. Perhaps it is the reason why it is called Wat Chingrai. But it is not the reason why I've come to this area, even though it is located close to my hotel. Guys, I'm looking for horses. For real, yeah, I'm looking for horses because Lampang is probably the only place in Thailand, the only city, where people still ride horses in the city, in the city center, yeah. And now when it's not sunny, when it's not hot, they're supposed to be literally everywhere, riding around, enjoying the cool air. But I'm a bit struggling, struggling to find one. Let's take a walk. Petriang. Face TikTok, I tried to become a YouTuber, but became a TikToker. Beautiful. 
what a beautiful meal. 104 baht, this uh, chicken steak and pork steak, amazing. Anyway guys, I have a thought. I feel like all horses went home to sleep. And I should, and I should do just like horses, because I feel pretty tired. I should go sleep too and try again tomorrow in the morning or in the afternoon. <laughs> because I know myself, morning, what is it morning? I'll see you in a bit. Let's go. Here they are, horses. ครับ 540 meters up to see several pagodas on this massive cliff on a mountain we should go back before 5 o'clock before 5 p.m otherwise there will be nobody who would bring us back to the parking lot and the road up, the road to this place is quite steep and narrow, one lane road. And it is the reason why they don't allow you to come with your own vehicle, even with motorcycle. Let's save the breath, because I'm already losing it. <laughs> probably won't believe it but it's raining <laughs> fantastic wow really magical place actually the entire journey to Lampang province has become quite magical yeah unusual things are happening every day everything except me getting up early in the morning of course
I demand. Rain is always following me. That's the rule. If Mickey is strolling somewhere on the bike, there will be raining, even in the winter time. Even on New Year. We're sleeping here tonight, and since we're making a magical video, we should try to get up early in the morning. I should try, of course, to see the sunrise at 6:30 p.m. Uh, a.m. <laughs> and this is the house. Ta-da! Yeah, this is an ordinary farm style. Oh, it's gonna be challenging. <laughs> but what I love the most, there is no, no air conditioning, of course. This is my shower and toilet. If it will be raining, I can sit here and wash my feet. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. That's incredible. All right. I've asked the lady if they got some food here. And she said, yeah, they can cook patka pao mu. And this is it. 60 baht for this portion and 800 baht for the house. Which is probably for four person, not for one.
ดีครับเอาไข่ได้ไหมครับเอาชุดเล็กโอเคเอานี่ซ้ำไข่เล่น with my eggs เล่น with my eggs in Lampang Province guys we have arrived to Chason National Park and there are two reasons why I decided to visit this place three reasons actually the first one it is located just in 12 or 15 kilometers from the homestay so it was just on the way reason number two there is a waterfall and it's supposed to be really beautiful waterfall and not far we can just walk on this road And reason number three it is hot springs. There is onsen, source of hot water, which is why I bought some eggs, because I don't want to boil mine. กลับมาพรุ่งนี้ใช่ไหมเราจะไปทางทะเลและเราจะไปหาไข่ทอดกลับไปหาไข่ทอดกลับไปหาไข่ทอดกลับไปหาไข่ทอดกลับไป If you want to eat khao soy in northern Thailand every day for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, then a short walk through this forest area doesn't sound so bad, does it? อาหารเช้ามาแล้วอันนี้ไข่อร่อยที่สุดที่เมืองไทยโอ้โห big business big business นะโอ้มีไข่เยอะๆหนึ่งพันไข่ this is how you cut expenses on gas and electricity boil eggs in a national park okay We are losing light, which is why we will try them a bit later. Who knows? Maybe I will need toilet. <laughs>
โอเคดีไปไปเอาไปอยู่วันก่อนเลย The Rosewater Heater Yeah guys another exotic night in this wooden bungalow wooden room Yeah We're somewhere in mountains of Lampang province. I kept riding from this national park this on this windy road for about 30 minutes and arrived to a place called Pamiang, if I'm pronouncing it right. It is a small village and tomorrow we'll take a walk around because now it, it's just completely dark. There are no 7-Elevens, there are no shops. At least I haven't seen any. <laughs> uh, one night here in this lovely room cost 600 baht, including dinner which is waiting for me outside and breakfast tomorrow in the morning. Of course, Thai classic mattress, a bit hard, yeah, but the uh, room looks pretty new. Some soup with potato and minced pork meat. Yeah and something with tomato and minced pork meat again and of course my boiled eggs mm. the most delicious eggs in the universe this dinner wouldn't be ideal without some apple juice that I brought with me on motorbike Yeah, by the way, this is a river. Perhaps my face says everything, right? <laughs> uh, what an amazing night. And it's probably my breakfast. Rice porridge, probably omelette, eggs whites, potato and cabbage. Cold already. And that's the noisy river. It was pretty cold at night. I mean, pretty cold for Thailand. Probably around 18, 19 degrees. So I decided to wear a hat, <laughs> my winter hat from Nepal. Just to not get sick the next day. However, oh, now it's just morning and it's already burning hot. Yeah, this is the usual thing for mountains in Thailand. <sighs> Let's grab some coffee. Actually, people living in the area, they are really living here and they grow tea, they grow local coffee, Lampang coffee, which is a little bit sour. I tried Lampang coffee yesterday in another homestay near the rice fields. It, it is a bit, a bit sour, but delicious. Hello! Tinai cafe aloi tisut krab. Tini lo? ปาเมียงที่ไหนยังยังสายยังตรงไปที่นู่นเหรอโอเคโอเคโอเคขอบคุณครับ a little bit more อับบานมีคืออะไรครับ homestay ไหม there are quite many homestays in this area however majority of them of course are not listed on booking.com or agoda websites so you just have to call them directly or just drive here and uh, walk around and ask if they got a room available or not. And here is my coffee shop, combined with homestay. 
ปรีครับพี่คุณมีกาแฟไหมครับเอาครับอ่าไปที่นู่นเหรอเอาไปด้านหลังเลยครับอันนี้คืออะไรครับน้ำผึ้งน้ำผึ้งป่าอ่า honey ใช่ไหมครับใช่ไหมครับ I don't know the word honey แนะนำแนะนำอะไรครับกาแฟสดกาแฟสดกาแฟสดน้ำผึ้งป่าเอาร้อนหรือเย็นเอาเคี่ยวนินเคี่ยวเคี่ยวนินร้อนเคี่ยวนินเย็นได้ไหมครับเพราะว่าอยากกินกาแฟเยอะๆเพราะว่าโอเค Welcome guys Pamiang Village So why do you need to come to Pamiang village? Well, first of all, it's beautiful here, it's quiet. Even though it is Saturday today, there are no people, no tourists, everyone's gone, which is quite amazing. There is a temple, which you can visit. There are few coffee shops here. They cook coffee by themselves. They roast coffee by themselves. You can just sleep here. You can probably even stay here. Any ห้องสำหรับลูกค้าเหรอที่เหรอโคดูห้องได้ไหมครับร้อยห้าสิบหกร้อยห้าสิบอาหารสองมื้อจริงเหรอมีอาหารเย็นกันเช้าหกร้อยห้าสิบบาทหนึ่งคืนมีมีอาหารเย็นมีอาหารเช้าใช่ไหมครับอาหารเช้ามีกาแฟไหมมีจริงเหรอโอเคดูเมทริสไม่ได้ที่ที่สุด Does his television, Netflix, and chill. But the view, of course, the view is the thing number one. 650 baht with this view. Kampong waterfall, which means we're already in Chiang Mai province. We left Lampang. I'm just really curious what is in the end of this trail. Is there uh, some emerald lake or swimming? Beautiful women and gold in the water. It's some sausages, chicken, and soft bed. At the end of this trail, the paradise. No, no chicken. Mai Kampong is a very popular touristy place, especially comparing to the village we have just visited. Pamiang, yeah, or you forgot the name. And today is Saturday. So Mai Kampong village which is full of tourists, full of people, local residents from Chiang Mai. Because it's just one hour drive from the city. Why don't come to a nice mountainous area? Breathe the fresh air, to see the waterfall, to eat some food.
I just can't drive anymore because I feel incredibly hungry. It's almost 3 p.m. And in fact, this is the end of the video. Because we've arrived to Chiang Mai. If you have enjoyed, you can hit the like button, as always. Your like is the major way to support this channel. If you want to see the daily updates from the trip, because I update uh, daily photos and videos on my Patreon, you can join me on Patreon. It is a chance to see something that you won't see on YouTube at all. And I'll see you in the next episode pretty soon. Somewhere in Chiang Mai. Bye-bye.